Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create fake camera movements in Vegas Pro 16. Now I'm going to be showing you two ways as always there's going to be one which is going to be using a plugin and there's going to be another way using just the pan and crop which means it's going to be completely free. Anyway let's get into the video. Here we are on Vegas Pro 16 and this is the raw clip you have just saw and as you can see it was actually taken on a tripod it is completely still. Like I mentioned, I will be showing you two ways to do this, one which will be requiring a plugin and one without any plugins. So I'm gonna be starting off with the one with the plugin and that is Sapphire plugins. If you don't have it, you can skip ahead to this time shown on screen right now. If you're still here, head over to video effects and what you wanna do is look for S underscore shake. And here it is, just select it. Now, what you're going to be adding on is the default. Now you're going to see something I already have, which is a preset I've made in the past, which is called text float. So I'm actually going to be dragging and dropping this onto my video clip. Now for those that want to copy my settings, here you go. Feel free to pause the video. And this is just creating a really, really subtle shake on the camera just to give the impression that it's handheld. For example, you can see now there's this little, little sh um, shake on it. So it just gives the impression it's actually handheld. And this is the really, really simple and easy way to create fake camera movement. And now I'll be showing you the other way, which is without plugins. Now to do this, you're going to be using the pan and crop and the resolution of your video needs to be pretty good quality in order to do this effect. So essentially what we're going to be doing is zooming in and using some keyframes. So head over to the pan and crop. I recommend you have sync cursor highlighted, so it'll be in blue then all you're going to be doing is zooming into a specific part for example i'll zoom in here and you can see the resolution on this isn't too good because the main focus will be the lady when she's in shot so i've put off to the side and as you can see we are still in frame there's no black bars and all i'm going to do is go across on my timeline to one second and then i'm going to drag this to the right hand side i'm going to go across until the lady is in shot you can see she's coming in right now I'm then going to right click and select restore. And just like that, we've now created some fake camera movement. The angle is going to start on the left, it's going to pan across to the right, and it's going to zoom out, and the lady's going to come into place. And to be honest, it creates much more of a powerful shot than it is just as a still image. So it shows all the scene. Then, of course, it zooms out as the lady walks in, which looks pretty cool. And you can be super creative with these keyframes. I mean, I, I just made that one really quick. You can start, for example, all the way zoomed in, like I'll do now. Then I'll go across my timeline to where the lady's on shot, right here. I'm going to right click, step restore, and playing it through now. You'll see that as I'm zooming out, the lady should be walking in like this. So, again, it creates another cool effect. And of course you can do the opposite, you can leave it as default as it is, but then you can come to where the lady is walking in, which is here for example. I'm going to lay down a keyframe just as she's walking in by pressing create keyframe. This means the uh, overall image won't be moving just yet, it's going to look the same. Then I'm going to come across when she's got the camera up, and I'm simply just going to zoom in. And I'm going to position this right here. And then I can X out of it. And now what we're going to do, we're going to have the full usual frame like this. But then when she begins walking in, it'll zoom in like that. Now, one more thing I'm going to be showing you to do with these keyframes, which is pretty cool. If you highlight the keyframes or even just select one of them, you can right click and you can choose different styles to how it will look. For example, right now we have linear, which is pretty sharp. And all I'm going to do is right click and change it to smooth. Now notice the difference in terms of the way this will now look. So it's going to start off still. As the lady walks in, it's going to zoom in. So you can see it's much more smooth and you can see it is literally softened out at the end. So it's not a harsh stop. Like that. Super simple and super quick to do.